English 122, Day 24. Public Audiences. From Writing Arguments, pages 321 to 342. Writing for public audiences, like the ones you will be targeting for the public campaign assignment, involves unique concerns that wouldn't apply to a more limited readership. Ask yourself several questions about your audience before you get started. First of all, ask, is there really a problem that needs to be solved? You will need to convince the audience that a true problem exists, while opponents may argue that a true problem does not exist. Also ask, will the proposed solution really solve this problem? You need to demonstrate that the proposal will solve the problem, but the opponents may try to show that the proposal won't work. Also ask, can the problem be solved more simply without disturbing the status quo? You want to show that only the proposed solution will solve the problem and that no minor tinkering with the status quo will be adequate. Your opponents will try to argue that the problem can be solved without acting. Also consider whether or not the proposal is really practical. Does it actually stand a chance of being enacted? You need to argue that the proposal is workable and that the problem is worth debating. Your opponents may argue that the proposal has no chance of being accepted. Finally, ask what will be the unforeseen positive and negative consequences of the proposal. You'll want to try to find positive consequences so as to highlight them while your opponents will point to negative consequences. In addition to these unique concerns, public audiences often have specific and diverse requirements for how an argument is to be accessed. Longer proposals will often include an abstract at the beginning of the proposal. This prov provides a basic summary or overview of the entire argument. On the other hand, sometimes proposals are accompanied by a letter of transmittal. This is a one-page business letter that introduces the proposal to its intended audience and provides some needed background information about the writer. In addition to formatting and trans transmission concerns, document design is very important in proposal arguments aimed at public audiences, which are often made up of busy people who have to make many decisions under time constraints. Effective design helps establish the writer's ethos as a quality-oriented professional and helps make the reading of the proposal as easy as possible. Consider familiar document design conventions in, gen in genres that you encounter in your everyday life. Document design includes the effective use of headings and subheadings, attractive typeface and layout, editing, and the interaction between visual and verbal texts. But before you begin drafting, you will need to identify your target audience and determine what's at stake. Ask several questions. For example, what audience are you targeting? What background do they need to understand your problem? How much do they already care about it? And how could you motivate them to care more? After reading your argument, what stance do you imagine your audience holding? And what change do you want to bring about in their view or behavior? What will the audience find uncomfortable or threatening about your proposal? Particularly, what costs will they incur by acting on your proposal? What objections might they raise? What counter arguments or alternative solutions will you need to address? And finally, why does your proposal matter? What exactly is at stake? Also remember when considering your target audience that proposal arguments must overcome the innate conservatism of the public. You will need to consider these questions as well. Will a skeptic deny that your problem is really a problem? Will a skeptic doubt the effectiveness of the proposed solution? Will a skeptic think the proposal costs too much? And finally, could a skeptic suggest potential counter proposals. You will need to overcome all of these considerations as you develop 
proposal arguments that effectively meet the needs of public audiences.